You heard me right. I actually asked an AI to build me the perfect PC. Just so you know, this sounds actually insane. And after seeing the price, you also would think that's insanity. I'm quite shocked about it. But hey, it shouldn't be any ordinary PC, of course. It should be the pinnacle of gaming and streaming, you know? The top 1%. That can't be so difficult, right? Just so you know, I've never built a PC before. I have no clues about PC parts. I have never had a PC. For me, it was time to finally build one. Hey, how do you know what do you actually need? ChatGPT. What are actually the requirements for this PC? Should be good at streaming, video editing, and perhaps games. Should be good at games. But you might ask, which ones? All of them. How good should it be? Perfect. I think we should ask ChatGPT, the artificial intelligence. I need one good PC. Thanks. <laughs> of course, there's going to be the question, what is inside my computer? Okay, people. That's my graphics card. It's a 4070 Ti Super. And you do know that I have no clue about computer parts, but this one is expensive. The Liquid Freezer 3000. This is my processor. It's a Ryzen 9. 7950X 3D. If you can imagine what it is, I don't know. You might be asking, what is the storage? Is there enough storage? This should be enough, I guess. What is the RAM, for example? I had no decision making in that. Is 64 gigabyte enough? I think so. This is 128 gigabytes. This is a motherboard. It does what motherboards do make, I don't know. But hey, Pablo, where does this all come together? I have a solution. The Silent Base 802. I have to tell you something. You won't see any footage of me building the PC. Because I did not think that this is going to be a video. But unironically, I thought it's a good topic. I'm not a room planner. I don't even know how to make interior design. I don't think this is gonna fit up there because it's f***ing big. Never can, can I put it on my f***ing desk. This won't be possible. It has to be on the ground. I don't even know if it's that's a correct thing because you know what this table can do? This table can move. Does it fit down there? Yes. Are the cables long enough? I don't even know that, okay? Because if not, then I have a standing desk and I can't use it. Perhaps I should have read that through, you know? You know what? I have something cool to show you guys. Hey, I have my computer finally and I think you want to see it. It's, it's amazing. There was a little problem, and I think you couldn't guess it. You can see my current setup. It's basically one extra screen that I borrowed from one of my friends, a keyboard from my younger cousin, and the mouse is actually from my neighbor. The mic is the only thing that actually is owned by me, because this was a Christmas present six years ago. That's crazy, that's crazy, that's f***ing crazy. It's so much bigger. But hey, have you considered subscribing me already? Hello people, I'm back. I know people, it's been some time. Let's play some Minecraft with extreme good shaders on it. Let's test this PC. To be honest, it's not that bad. It's actually, it's really good. It's a really good people. Let's see this with shaders. Damn, this is not, this is another game. This is not Minecraft anymore. Take a look at this. It, everything looks so much better. Even the water has, it, it mirrors it. Like if you, if you can see that, the water, it's excellent. It's excellent. It's brilliant. Holy fuck. As you can see, 120 FPS. But, but gameplay with shaders look even underwater because look at this 
It's fucking crazy! Like, this is not Minecraft anymore. Perhaps I said it too much, but this PC is good. But what were the costs? Because I think I have to also mention them. So people, let's make a small list. At first we have the graphics card, the processor, the case, the ventilation, the RAM, the storage, and of course, I don't know which parts also. So this is the total of it. So every compartment together, it is around 4000 euros. People, I don't think I will ever do this again. Oh, definitely, I'm going to do this again. Was it worth it for me? Definitely. Seeing games that fluent with such a good graphic is something that I haven't seen in my whole life. This was also a really an interesting project. And also something that I can use for the future now. We're gonna see us in the next video. Perhaps I'm going to stream something. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually really tired. This, this whole project was exhausting. So see you soon. soon. Bye.